drive a monster truck is definitely an adrenaline rush. Monster trucks are pretty phenomenal things and you, we find that anything can and will happen with them. Um, crushing cars and jumping 20 feet in the air. Doesn't matter if you're a big kid or a little kid, you're pretty impressed by what you'll see. Over 700,000 people watched us last year at 40 odd shows. Um, we sell out 37 of the 40 odd shows we go to. Great truck. Oh, a bit scary but it was also pretty fun. Yeah, Billy's so jealous. I'm getting a real lot of air so I've uh, got just under 2,000 horsepower. So uh, we just want to use it and abuse it and get plenty of air. Yeah, this is really good at doing donuts this truck too. Yeah, it's pretty good. I um, get into trouble sometimes doing donuts, but you've got to be careful you break axles doing that, so it's a fine line where to go. Yeah, mate, it is it's very, very annoying. How about it for Big Bad Billy Bradley, everybody? About 1800 horsepower. I just thought that you shouldn't be afraid because whatever you're going to get, like, oh, you're going to be safe. Now, there's no bloke over there, there's a bloke over there that is your dad. But it loves to keep your butt in monster trucks. So anything, you know, skill testers, whatever, can you bring it to not? Yeah, it's getting pretty old, so I think. <laughs> Well, it's a 486 big block Chevy. The tires are huge, they're 66 inches. It costs a fair bit just for one, around $10,000. And just being in every second is a thrill. Have you stacked any? Um, I've done haze. If I'm getting beaten, then I just kind of forget about anything, just want to win. Um, top speed on mine's 110 kilometers now. From the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Clive Feminy, everybody! Clive's the driver of this awesome Outback Thunder. And they've put all new tailgates on the back. We've been patching them up all year because every year I have to go out and beat the kids over there, or even not granddad. And um, what happens is I have to rip the back off every week, so I've been replacing that one each week and put a brand new one on now. But sadly, they keep on falling off. Like, uh, poor old Outback Sunder, he's a bit tired nowadays, he likes end upside down all the time. We don't like losing, we do whatever we have to do to win. Brand being old is not too bad, Clive. Like. Oh, being old sucks, I'll tell you. <laughs> One of the fantastic sponsors we have on board is Fuchs Lubricants. They are a wonderful sponsor and we use, of course, their oil with pride. They're the only oil tough enough to tame our monster trucks. Plenty of preparation before every show, plenty of maintenance required too. There is Billy Featherby doing a little bit of studying there in the car before the show. Barry Gaunt, big bad Barry as always. He's the guy that has to work so hard on these trucks and prepare them and get them ready for competition. Nice glasses, Clive.
Well, you know, the pit parties are an exciting part of every monster truck show. There was Jay Featherby signing some autographs. Fans of all ages turning out to meet the stars and check out the trucks up close. There's Billy Featherby, just 16 years old. I look like a monster troll. Which one's the best one? Um, I think the Batman movie. Batman's pretty cool, isn't he? Do you like monster trucks? Yeah. Oh, probably Outback Thunder. Probably because it's like a really fast one and it's just like a legend of a car. Oh, you've got a Scooby Doo shirt on. Cool. And we got it signed. And who signed them? Um, a motorbike rider and a monster truck rider. Ah, okay, cool, cool. What's your name? Nathaniel. Nathaniel? Yeah. And do you like monster trucks? Yeah. A lot? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna watch that DVD? Yeah. Good. Is this your favourite one? Yeah. Outback Thunder. The little boy here wants to see the big machine. You know, it's not just the monster trucks that rock the show. We often have, well, two, three, and four-wheel motorbikes putting on an awesome show. These are the mighty quads. These guys are tough, aren't they? They run very hard. Quite often they crash as well. Some good characters and some great riders. Very tight conditions here. Oh, if you're really careful, you don't flip the bike over on this very tight little indoor course here. And the quads putting on a great show. The fans always love them. Plenty of bump and grind and occasionally the odd stack as well. Everybody loves their mini bike action and the fast fitties, they always put on a good show as well. These couple of youngsters, well they're already, he's a bit bigger than kids. Oh, but he's even pinched the witch's hat and tossed it at one of the other riders. And look out, it's on! A blue in the middle of the arena. They're coming from everywhere. Bit of motocross action coming your way as well. The guys love to put on a show. We always get huge crowds at the Monster Tour of Destruction. And certainly the fans love their handlebar hero action as well. Plenty of big air, plenty of good riders, and always plenty of fun the dirt.
Well, a very important part of our show at every show is the grand parade of all the stars. And as you can see, there is the Flying Inferno stunt car that's, well, basically where Jay spends a lot of his time. And there is our cool jet van, this incredible vehicle that shoots out heaps of flames, which of course you'll see a bit later. There is Clinton Gimme Moore, our backflipping freestyle star. And of course, the Kawasaki kid, Josh Burden from South Australia. Plenty of kids here. There is that amazing jet van that has been clocked at 339 kilometers an hour at Bathurst. Outback Thunder Jr. often makes a bit of an appearance as well, little Hayden McCleary. And there's little Pat riding on the quad as well. He's got the Aussie flag up there and plenty of crowd interest. There is the Australian monster truck champion, Outback Thunder, with Fuchs oil running through its veins. This amazing truck driven by Clive Featherby, Mr. Altitude, always gets serious height. And there's Scooby! Also with his big Fuchs flag there as well. He's followed by Monster Patrol with the American flag hanging off the back. The World Indoor Champion truck. And you can see Clive using the independent rear steer there as the guys do a bit of crab walking along with Scooby and Monster Patrol with the big Your Busted sign on the back. There's a bit of a highlight from Miljura with some of the Junior and Speedway and Crash cars. It's not just old speedway cars you sometimes see for smash em ups, it's some really cool rides like this on the Sunshine Coast. Have a look at these mad street rods. Plenty of kids turning out to check out some of these really cool cars and of course a chance to give the driver a bit of a high five as well is always pretty gnarly. Fantastic night, huge crowd. It rained a little bit on the night but didn't affect anybody, we still had a massive show. Outback Thunder there in Melbourne, just having the truck turned off by the remote ignition interrupter, which is where a, an official from AMTRA, the Australian Monster Truck Association of Australia, can basically shut down the truck if the driver has any problems. It prevents the uh, truck from careering out of control. Outback Thunder is always very tough indoors. This is a bit of a time trial style segment. Extremely tight little circuit, this one, but Outback still gets around there very nicely. Outback Thunder! Here is Scooby-Doo. Don't the kids love Scooby? This incredible truck. Warner Brothers, of course, right behind a lot of the Batman activities here this year. This is, of course, the night we debuted the Sony PlayStation 3 Motor Storm. You can just see Scooby in the hands of Billy Featherby, 16 years of age, working the Scooby in the tight confines of the indoor arena. As he works his way around in this time trial situation, looking very good as Scooby right up against the wall there. The crowd right on the edge of their seats, and here is Batman, also using the remote ignition interrupters just to prove that uh, the officials are there on the job and can prevent this truck from careering out of control. There is Clive Featherby off to the right. The man who drives Outback Thunder is Batman in the hands of the American James Teague from North Carolina. You can see all the fans putting their hands up in the air so that James can see them. 
And away he goes. Enormous horsepower. Well over 1,500 horsepower in this five-ton monster truck known as Warner Brothers Batman. Very good turning circle on Batman. Almost turned in a little too hard then and almost made an early jumping display. Not something that he would have been too happy to do, I wouldn't think. Once again, James Teague on the gas. The American, very much experienced, has enormous uh, experience in the USA and is now a regular part of the Monsters Tour of Destruction down here in Australia. Motor Storm coming out. Grant Denyer, TV star Grant Denyer driving Sony PlayStation 3 Motor Storm. So Grant Denyer, who's only had a couple of uh, drives in monster trucks, now with the brand new PlayStation 3 Motor Storm truck. And the cool part about the new Motor Storm game, the Pacific Rift is the name of it, you can actually download this truck and use it in the game. Samson out there, Sam Zerub jumping, and look at James Teague and Batman, he gets big air. In a very short space, he really got that truck up nice. Big air, completely over the cars. And Sam Zerub and Samson, whoa! Look out, that was close. Almost gave our camera a bit of a tickle up just then. And Scooby-Doo, don't the kids love him? Grant Denyer in PlayStation 3 Motor Storm. The Scooby gets some good air. This 16-year-old driver, Billy Featherby, also a very talented athlete in running events, just represented Australia just recently over in the USA. Grant Denyer just crunching down some cars towards the end of his run. Crowd absolutely loving it. They gave him a big round of applause. Plenty of Scooby fans in the house as well. So Sammy Zerubin, Samson up against James Teague in Batman. And this guy is not afraid to stand on the gas. Look at that huge air once again crunching down on those cars. The American flag flying high. Oh, he got a little bit sideways over the side then. Grant Denyer now with his first sky wheelie and freestyle attempt. He picks up good air as well. Here he is getting the crowd right involved. Stands it up nicely. You can see all the camera flashes going off. And the crowd loves it. They're absolutely wrapped. Plenty of applause around the venue at the moment. Here comes Grant back towards us now. Oh, just gets it back under control. Considering he's only been doing this a short time, Grant Daniel is becoming a very, very good monster truck driver. He races V8 supercars and just loves the chance to drive monster trucks. Time now for Scooby-Doo. Fuchs Lubricants running through its veins. And Scooby, certainly the most popular, or certainly one of, if not the most popular, monster truck in Australia. Certainly he's driving at 16 years of age. Quite remarkable to think he's on his L plates on the road. But here he is driving a 1,500 horsepower, six-ton monster truck and getting it right up off the ground. That was a huge jump. Crowd absolutely loving this. What has Scooby got for us this time? Good wheel stand. He held it up there nicely for that one. And here comes James T in Batman, who recently, at an event up in Cairns, stood the truck up on its back wheels and basically had to be pulled back onto all fours by a forklift. This guy loves to get major air. Of course, he does this for a job in the USA. He's a full-time driver from North Carolina, James T. And the crowd again, giving him plenty of encouragement. Oh, don't worry about the bumper bar on one of those cars. It just got ripped off. I think the car's got more to worry about than the bumper bars. Nice little skid then as he gets himself lined up and stands it up on its back wheels once more. Great stuff in front of a packed house here, indoors in Melbourne. Good air once more from Batman and James Teague will look to round out his expression session. You can see the American flag has copped a bit of a battering as he goes for the big donut. A little slippery out there, but he manages to, when he's not racing back in the USA, American James Teague is a regular part of the Monsters Tour of Destruction. And we're always glad to have him. It's definitely fun to drive a monster truck. 
young Billy drives it and uh, yeah, he's still learning but he's uh, definitely getting it down so I guess each year I come over it's going to be a bit harder so we'll see how it turns out this next year. Really cool and destructive. Uh, you can stand it up on the back wheels, walk across the cars. It's definitely an adrenaline rush. Uh, take a 10,000 pound machine, uh, walk it across the cars. I've been driving monster trucks for a little over five years. Uh, started out with uh, Paul Schaefer Motorsports. Uh, gave me the opportunity to to get into one of his uh, finest monster trucks and tour the United States. Uh, toured 40, 45 dates a year. Then from there on, we went down to uh, over to Australia when I was with Paul and uh, with Schaefer Motorsports and uh, toured there in 06. And uh, from there, I went back home and uh, kind of did my own thing and uh, toured with Kurt Dabney and Monster Patrol. Uh, and uh, back over here in Australia again in 08. It's pretty exciting over here. It's a little bit different way of life, but definitely uh, uh, the shows over here are definitely uh, are, are good. Batman, it's, uh, uh, it's over here in Australia and toured Batman. It's definitely uh, one of the coolest trucks here in Australia. One of the biggest Batman fans. I like to like to beat up on Scooby-Doo just a little bit. Uh, touring all over the, the, the world in uh, Australia, Mexico, Canada, and the United States in 08 and 09. It's definitely been an experience uh, in my life and uh, to come and uh, to ravish around and uh, do some destructive stuff with uh, Monsters Tour of destruction's definitely been fun too. Uh, you know, to, to, to go upside down and uh, to, to run a monster truck and flip it over and roll it upside down, uh, get you a little bit of uh, unorganized, but it's a lot of fun. You definitely, you get out of the truck, you just want to run 10 miles, you know, it's an it's, uh, it's adrenaline rush that it gives you. The monster tours of destruction, it's definitely a lot of fun when you get to the freestyle. Uh, freestyle comes toward the end. You get to take a 10,000 pound truck, 1,500 horsepower, and make it do whatever you can make it do. Self-destruct, roll it, uh, walk it across the cars. It's definitely a lot of fun. Jump two, three stories in the air. Uh, it, it just, it's, it's overwhelming. The scariest moment in a monster truck for me would probably be in Mexico. Uh, went way beyond vertical. It's, it's, uh, it's an uneasy feeling. Uh, it's something that it takes you a little bit to get used to, but but you get there. Uh, also, to catch on fire, I think I've kind of been through it all. I have been on fire in a little town called Ocala, Florida. Uh, the blower blew off the intake, caught the, the motor on fire, fire coming through the pits, uh, through the cockpit area. So uh, we had plenty of fire extinguishers to get me out, but uh, come out of it okay. We wear pretty, we wear uh, D safety equipment, fire suits. So it, uh, it, it all comes out okay. All the all the trucks, the monster trucks over here run what they call a RII, which is a remote ignition interrupter. Uh, every truck has it. So the guy in, on the ground that's that's uh, over the trucks has a remote switch that he can hit and kill the truck at any time if he thinks the driver's getting out of control. The pit party's probably my next favorite. You know, just enjoy the kids and and you know, just autographs and and everything else so it's all for the kids it's what monster trucks is all about well without a doubt one of the most spectacular parts of any monster truck tour of destruction show is the jet van one of two different jet vans that we can bring to the show at any time Whew, man it's hot in here all of a sudden this is firestorm russell loves getting uh, some big flames going out the back of this awesome yellow jet van. This was indoors. We don't normally have them indoors. It's normally a little too close, but wow, he really got the fans rocking, that is for sure, between Firestorm and the awesome bright pink KC's Fireworks jet van, which has now been converted to the mystery van on the mystery wagon. We're always going to be able to fire up a big show for you. The jet fans... They certainly are a crowd favourite, and don't the fans love them? They always fire up big time. Well, the jet van, the KC's fireworks jet van, really getting some serious flamage going here. This was some of the action at Timmis Speedway in Mildura. As you can see, plenty of flames. Clive loves driving this thing too. He really gets a bit of a rhythm going and doesn't just shoot flame out. He times it all to the music and really gets a big show going. There's plenty of neons inside this van as well and this tour of the country it was originally owned by Robbie Bolger a mad Irishman who put the thing together and clocked over 330 kilometers an hour this is a crossover 
Incredible stuff here. This is the Taralgon in Victoria and uh, the jet van and jet truck doing a crossover. This is very, very dangerous, only done by professionals. This awesome little truck really does get up and go. It's based in Darwin in the Northern Territory, but whenever it's possible, we involve it in the shows for the Monsters Tour of Destruction. A big crossover just then. As you can see, no shortage of heat in the back. And look at that poor car. That was once a very nice Ford Laser. It's now a crumpet. And as you can see, Commodores too can't escape the heat of these incredible jet vans. Imagine the temperature inside that car. Once again, you see the big double crossover. And wow, imagine the collective heat between these two. There is Russell in Firestorm and Clive in the KC's Fireworks bright pink jet van as it makes its way around the circuit here. A big thanks to everybody at Toowoomba, an important part of our schedule each year at the Toowoomba Showgrounds. And once again, you can see Clive just giving it heaps there at the moment. This at the Gosford event. The Monsters Tour of Destruction quite often tour at the Greyhound Clubs. Also speedway tracks and ovals and parks and football grounds and the like. And you can see Clive really getting up it now. Plenty of flame belching out the back there and the fans just loving it. Here's a nice low down shot right now of the two jet vans firing at each other. Wow, look at the smoke and fire there. It doesn't seem that long ago that we unveiled Scooby on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland and have a listen to the reaction of the kids. Scooby-Doo, as always, an awesome combination, particularly when he's outdoors and can really get after it. Here is Billy Featherby in his brilliant best, right up over the cars, all four wheels off the ground. And Billy loves getting out on freshly cut grass. He loves to get out there and really have at it. This is at Wayville in South Australia. Scooby getting some big air in front of a massive crowd here. You just see Billy there winding up the crowd, getting him nice and noisy in front of this beautiful old grandstand. And look at that, massive air for Scooby. Once again, proving why he is one of the coolest trucks in the world of monster truck racing. Not only because he looks so cool, but because he always gets big air. All right, Scoob, about to get some big air here crunching down on those cars and uh, great pictures of Scooby relishing the chance to get up there and really stand this truck up on its back wheels considering he's only got his L plates on the road Billy Featherby does a great job doesn't he 16 years old you can see he hasn't got much room to see out of the top but he still manages to get right up there and launch this truck into the air have a look at this right up over the old cars just crunching down.
Oh, look out. Careful. Careful. Oh, he's going to run over the balloons. Dapto. The fans love it here. He sends the balloon skyward. And Scooby-Doo loving the chance to drive here in front of this big crowd. Wow, once again, really big air. You see, they don't have to approach the cars too fast. Just consistent speed and then bang, up they go. Now, Scooby loves to crush cars, but he absolutely loves to crash caravans. And he's about to launch through this poor old caravan. Scooby lining up, get the crowd really involved. And he's about to destroy this once perfect caravan. Here he comes, Scooby Doo! Oh, right through the caravan! 14-year-old superstar Billy Featherby lost control of the supersized vehicle. What's all the youngest monster truck driver? Is it in the world these days, Billy, or what? Or just... yeah, it is the world today, yeah. Just turned 15. What are you doing in your spare time these days? Is there any spare time? Um, yeah, I got the whole week just get flown down every Saturday, but um, spare time just having fun with my friends. My truck's great, I just love it. Like, sometimes you don't even think you've landed and You'd be the luckiest kid in the world. Your old man not only lets you drive monster trucks, even though it can be a bit hard on you, he does give you the coolest truck. You get to drive Scooby, and Scooby rocks. Yeah, Scooby's pretty good. We're trying to get a new shirt out and get new posters out, and looks pretty cool. Yeah, oh, my favourite is just to launch and get an ass fun, but you know, you could roll it. And... Yeah, I rolled one in Gold Coast, and um, Dad just. If one person starts to get a little bit ahead of him, he just goes out all crazy. Now your brother Jay, of course, is the human inferno. Is there any chance he'll drive trucks soon? Um, yeah, we've actually been training him, and by the end of this year, hopefully, he'll be jumping cars. Yeah, we we'll have to give him like a brick on his foot to reach the pedal. No, it all it's all runs all differently. Like mine's a 586 big block Chevy, 1600 horsepower. And in America, they've got faster ones, but just how they're good enough, it's good enough, they can still win a world titles. You seem pretty laid back. We're only a couple of hours away from showtime right now. Do you get nervous on race day? Oh, the very first day I did. Yeah, but not now? Nah, I almost weed myself the very first day, but yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> Do you go into each show with any sort of different plan in mind? Oh, just depending on how much the crowd cheers. And... So can you hear them inside the truck? You can't hear anything. You can see them, you can tell by their facial expressions how, you know, amped they are. You just go by that. When we get down to one, Grant's the fireworks man is gonna light that thing and run. So you ready kids? Need you to help me out nice and loud so as Clive gives me the signal. Woo, here we go! Looking for the second one now. It's fully lit for him. Come on, folks, make a bit of noise for him. Second wall. Boom! Through that one as well. Now onto the third one. And through that one as well. Whoa! 
You get the smoothest possible run at the ramp. Oh yeah! Firing up. Whoa! Nice little double seat grab. Big match. Here comes Josh Burden. Nice. Yes! He nailed it! Oh, <laughs> beautiful! Two from two for Clinton. Okay, I think we're clear. Ten, nine. Oh, look at that. Jay Featherby. Jay, what is it you actually do on this show? Well, I go on the bonnet of the Flying Inferno. That is when I'm on the bonnet and I go hurtling through a wall of fire. I show us how you get on there, mate. I put my hands on the handlebars, strap my legs off that, off that, and I put my head down low. And keep it down? Yeah. Now, is this not dangerous? It's dangerous if, if, it's dangerous if you're not ready, if you haven't had any training, but I've had half a year of training to do it. Okay. And your brother Billy's a monster truck driver and your dad drives them and puts the fireworks and the whole bit so your whole family's involved. Yeah, it's like a family or something. Is it good to be able to spend time like with your family on the road like that? Billy gets annoying sometimes. Does he? <laughs> He's a big brother. He's supposed to. Yeah. Is it comfortable like the way you are there like that? How long would you have to stay down like that? About one second. Okay. And at the rest of the time you drive with your head up there? Yeah, I drive my head up and wave to the crowd. So you're 12 years old, what else do you like doing apart from driving through fire? I like skating. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Is that it? Yeah. Is it, do the chicks like it when you go through the fire? Is this a good thing to pull girls? Yeah, it's really good. The Australian Monster Truck Champion Outback Thunder showing Every time he goes out, why he is one of the most spectacular trucks in the game. Reverse donuts here as well. As you can see, sparks flying everywhere. Fuchs oil, certainly tough enough to tame Outback Thunder, but not much else is. Clive Featherby behind the wheel, loves to go hard. You often see the truck standing skyward. Look at that. Big, big air there and a big wheel stand off the end of the truck as well. We have often seen this truck roll over. Certainly Clive is not afraid to really push the boundaries. Mr. Altitude, as he's known. And here are some great pictures from different circuits across Australia where Outback really gets up and pushes the suspension to the absolute max. Now watch this alongside Scooby. There's a caravan here. It's about to get destroyed. Scooby on one side, Outback Thunder on the other. They double team the caravan and put it out of its misery in Wavell in South Australia. Outback Thunder, always a favourite. Clive loves to drive it hard. He's certainly the most aggressive monster truck driver. I think he models his driving on Tom Mentz from the USA. It's always exciting. Look at this, just getting good air, crunching the cars down early. Great conditions for monster trucking too. Yeah, we're not going to run over the brand new Toyota parked on the infield. And as always, Fuchs Oil's right behind him, just crunches down to get those cars in perfect condition for some big air a little later on. Reverse angle, as you can see how hard the suspension has to work on this truck with sunroof. 
pops open. And Clive parks it up on top of those cars just to wave to the fans. You'll often see him get out of the truck and run into the crowd and give away his helmet or grab a little kid and take him for a ride in Outback Thunder. Anything can and just about always will happen with this spectacular truck and its fearless driver, Clive Featherby, from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. You see him there just packing down the car and taking another run at it. Good air once more from Outback. He really does love to go hard. And the bigger the crowd, the noisier the fans, the more he goes off like this. His show certainly playing to packed houses across Australia. Great wheel stand then from Outback Thunder. That was just a massive run there. And the crowd loving it. The Sky Wheelie Comp. Another poor old caravan gets destroyed. And as you can see there, balloons heading off into the sky. Huge crowds across Australia turning out to see the monster's tour of destruction. And uh, the guys really enjoying these conditions. Great crowd, great conditions. A little slippery on the infield here, but as you can see in Geelong in Victoria, he's hammering it up now. Nice donuts in the center of the arena. The crowd love their donuts, that is for sure. And Outback Thunder. Proving wise, the Australian champion. Always a spectacular proposition. More donuts from Clive. He's got it wide open, really punishing this big 486 cubic inch engine. And as you can see, Clive in there loves his truck driving, that's for sure. The world's biggest kid, Clive Featherby in Outback Thunder. Well, Outback Thunder's never scared to get some air. And look at this, a massive rollover onto his back and then onto his side. 
Certainly the crowd loved this in Cairns. It got right up there and just laid over. They were able to repair the truck a little bit later on and Clive was A-OK. -okay. The crowd absolutely loved it. Clive gets out, takes off his helmet with a bit of a grin. Not much stops out back Thunder, but uh, well, sometimes buses do. He gets it all wrong there and rolls over onto his back. Safety crew quickly to run over there and check that he's A-OK -okay, and it took a big crane to lift the Outback Thunder truck back onto its wheels. But once again, it might have taken a licking, but it was still ticking at the end of the night. This amazing old truck just keeps on pushing on. Of course, Outback Thunder doesn't always come away without any battle scars. You can see here, sometimes he tears his bonnet off and his bodywork off. That's a massive sky wheelie right there. It doesn't seem to matter though, no matter what the damage, over the top of a bus even. Here comes Outback Thunder. How big was that? Right over the top. Just a huge jump here. The crowd really loving it. He always comes back for more. It's big, it's loud, it's fun. Um, when you see them floating through the air, it's amazing to see five ton up in the air for as long as it's up there for and come down still in one piece. People don't believe that something that big can do 130 kilometers an hour. They're more agile than a four cylinder car. car. So um, they're just a massive big five ton uh, vehicle of destruction and fun. We're doing about 35 to 40 shows a year of our own nowadays, plus heaps of higher jobs for the monster trucks where they're just doing public appearances and they seem to be sellout crowds everywhere we go. Billy's going really, really good at both here and now he's about to go and do demos in, Australia, in America too. And uh, he's really he's got no fear, he's 14 and bulletproof. And of course Jay with the stunts, he's about to start driving monster trucks as well. So yeah, they're going fantastic. Sherry Schaefer, very popular driver. That's right, she's mostly the best monster truck driver in Australia at the moment. And uh, she is another one, she's a 40 year old lady with no fear like a 14 year old. It's always a competition between her and Billy as to who's going to do the most damage on the night. And uh, in the sky wheelies they go head to head every time we go to and um, they really sort of thrill the crowd. How many does this make it for the year? Um, I think I was working on about 40 or 50 shows in the last 13 or 14 months, so yeah, we're pretty busy. Probably the coolest part is not having to pay for them when you break them. <laughs> I raced cars for 20 years and they were very expensive, but then you get in these things and yeah, you can rip snort and ball tear and you know, you don't have to worry about fixing them. I'm actually suffering a little bit and I've got a bit of neck damage from the last three shows, but as you know, I haven't really flicked it quite a few times. Probably the hardest part, especially driving barefoot, is I can't see out of it. Uh, so what I actually have to do is um, look at the track before I get in the truck so that I know, you know who's where or what's where so I don't squash anything that I'm not supposed to do before I actually get out there. Well, I wouldn't like to take these things too quick because um, the shockies on them act as sponges but they're also, when you drive them up fairly quick speeds, they become very jelly-like and uh, the trucks tend to wander all over the place. But the way that we have these trucks, they have heaps of horsepower, we have very low gearing, so that we can do some spectacular jumps and hopefully heaps of donuts and go just crazy in the freestyle. Um, I'm a mother and a grandmother, as you know, and I love children and I, I just, I love communicating with people and um, I even like the fact that they look up to me as a hero, some sort of hero figure, it makes me feel very special. Well, it's a visual feast when you show up to a Monsters Tour of Destruction show. You might even see some laser shows as well. How about this for some spectacular stuff?
Clive Featherby, who runs the KC's Fireworks Monster Truck Tour of Destruction, is one of the best pyrotechnician and fireworks experts in the world. He always puts on a monster fireworks show at the end of every program. Quite often you'll see two fireworks. You'll see the China versus Australia fireworks show off and it's always a rocking good time. Have a look at these spectacular pictures. Clive travels the world to make sure he can bring back the most spectacular shells from all over the planet and bring them back home to put on some monster family fireworks entertainment. This is Check the Flames. Wooshka. Yes, the awesome Transilla dinosaur. It's a favourite wherever it goes. This fire-breathing, snarling, car-wrecking monster from the past certainly is a big hit with fans of all ages. Indoors? Really in your face, isn't it? It's an incredible machine that just loves to eat cars and snort fire and certainly all about destruction. Transilla, an exciting part of the show on the Monsters Tour of Destruction. Look at those evil eyes and those huge teeth. Massive flames belching from its tail and certainly flames 
from the front as well, out of his nose. This is one angry beast, Transilla. Oh, look out, he's coming right at us now. Have a look at that for one angry face right there. Certainly wouldn't want to get in his way. And I think there might be a car, unfortunately, that is on the menu for this very cranky dinosaur. Peckish, and that little car is about to get eaten alive. Look out, starting to move it over, looking to rip the top right off this little car. If you don't mess with Transilla, munch! There goes the roof. That's just a snack for this awesome Transilla. <laughs> Looks hungry to me. I think there might be more to eat later. Don't the crowd love this? Now for the monster truck train where all of the trucks at the very end of the night come out in one big line and follow each other over. There is Grant Denyer driving monster patrollers. Outback Thunder gets a good wheelie on. Very early in the piece, followed by James Teague in Warner Brothers Batman. And then Grant Denyer in Monster Patrol getting some good air thanks to our friends at Books, Oils and K-Zone Magazine. Australia's number one kids magazine. Outback Thunder, crunching, car munching, monster truck action there. Captain Crusher. Grant Denya very much getting to grips with the whole art of destroying cars. Monster truck style. Good job across the top and barefoot as always. Here is Outback Thunder looking a bit ragged at the tail but still getting massive air. Batman following suit, crunching down his cars. Scooby-Doo, look for some big air from Scooby. Always a good wheelie in Scooby's armory, that's for sure. And Monster Patrol, the last one of the order, just creeping up and then powering down on top. Five ton of monster truck down on the cars. Batman chasing, and poor old Herbie. He is there in the middle looking a little nervous. Oh, look at the wheelie from Outback Thunder. That was a massive sky wheelie. Batman following through. And then you've got Scooby-Doo in behind. Oh, huge air from Scooby. Rear wheels right off the ground. And now Monster Patrol. Set to get some air as well. And Batman certainly clocking up some big air time there. Scooby-Doo, huge air, right off the ground, all four wheels skyward.
The Monsters Tour of Destruction is travelling to a town or a city near you. Make sure you check out the website, lock in the dates, come along and be a part of the excitement. Thanks to K-Zone Magazine. Thanks to Fuchs Oils, tough enough to tame our monster trucks. Thanks to Sony PlayStation 3 and the new MotorStorm game. Pacific Rift should be pretty cool. Make sure you check it out. On behalf of us all at the Monsters Tour of Destruction, we look forward to seeing you at our next show. Don't forget to come along, make plenty of noise, and enjoy as the monster trucks rock your town.